Okay, number six, using the limit definition, prove that the limit as x goes to two of the function three x squared is equal to 12. Uh, certainly an easy limit to do, but the bottom line, they may not be easy to prove. So we wanna go through this over here, and we're using what's called the epsilon delta definition. All right, so let's go to the whiteboard. <coughs> Let me open up the whiteboard for you, and let's start. All right, so this is number six. I'll write down number six for you. And let me make sure I'm writing the pen. Yep, number six. Let me get rid of this and write it down for you. So limit as x goes towards two, three x squared is equal to 12. And again, we're using the epsilon delta definition. So let's write this down. The steps are gonna be as follows. We're gonna be given, now it's an epsilon, so we're given an epsilon that's greater than zero. Then we're gonna choose a delta. I don't know what the delta is, and this is something that, that does take some effort to get. I can't look at this and know the delta by looking at it. So I need to you know, go through the process. I'm gonna suppose, and I'm looking at x goes towards two, and I'm gonna say, oh, the absolute value of x minus two is gonna be less than delta. All right, now the bottom line is x is not equal to two, therefore x minus two is not equal to zero, so I can say that this is greater than zero now. All right, and what I'm gonna do the next thing is the check part. And this is the part where it really requires some effort to get through it. So we're gonna check, we're gonna check that the absolute value of three x squared minus 12. Um, and this is the part where, you know, I'm trying to get the epsilon out of this thing. I'm looking at this thing and the epsilon's gonna be uh, uh, the end of it. But I'm looking at this thing, I'm wondering how, how am I gonna do that? And I'll write this down in stages. Sorry. And the first thing I'm gonna write the absolute value of three that's x squared minus four. And again, I'm using some algebra skills over here. There's gonna be three, and that factor is x minus two, x plus two. And I'm just use my rules, so my understanding of absolute value is gonna be three, the absolute value of x minus two, and then the absolute value of x plus two, right? And then look at this thing over here. I'm realizing I got that delta thing. So I can say this is less than three delta and then absolute value of x plus two. And this is where things bog down for me. I look at this thing and say, I don't have x plus two anywhere. So what I gotta do is I gotta pick a delta now. So I'm gonna say the minimum, if I'm gonna pick a delta, a convenient number would be one, let's choose that. So let's write this suppose part down. So what I got, I have you know this over here. I'm making the delta one now. And I'm trying to find x plus two in that problem. So I'm gonna remove the absolute value symbol. So that means x minus two is between one and minus one. And I wanna get plus two. So the way I could do that is by adding four to all sides. And what do you get there? You get three, x minus two, and then you get five over here. And this is convenient, because now I can write an absolute value down. And what do I know? This is gonna imply that the absolute value of x plus two, and the greater of those two numbers is five, so less than five, all right? So what I can do now, and this is probably you have to start thinking about it, is um, I got this three delta um, x plus two. I can say, let's take a look at that, that, um, that x plus two is, given that the, 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 uh, the, the delta is equal to one, um, and I'm, I'm doing the minimum of that, and this, there's always part I have to think about it, I can say that this over here, let me put this over here, three delta x plus two. And again, we just went through this. We took a, um, a minimum of this. We don't, we don't know what the absolute is yet, the delta is yet, by the way. But say if it's one, I have this one over here. And let's write this down. So I have this part over here. That's gonna be less than five, all right? So put this over here, less than three delta five, all right? So let's see what that gives me. What does that give me? That gives me 15, 15 delta, all right? Now here comes my problem over here. I'm looking for that epsilon, and I want this to equal epsilon. But remember, I got this minimum thing up here, and I'm wondering what to put down now. Well, looking at it, I hope you realize that it's gonna be less than or equal to at this point. And what would the delta be? It would be epsilon over 15, right? Because that would give me the epsilon. So epsilon, over 15. We just finished it. It's going to be QED. 
And as black pen, red pen, he puts a little box over there. I put QED down. He puts the box with the shading in it over here, all right? I also want to recommend you, you, you watch other people do the same problem, by the way. And that's why in the notes I gave you the link to uh, black pen, red pen's work on this problem as well. Sometimes the work looks a little bit different. And uh, also the reasoning might be a little bit different. But the conclusions are pretty much the same. All right, thank you.